we can actually access the uh, Gate of Illusion from the Graveyard of the Giants now that we've dispelled the Illusion of Eden. And all you have to do to get there is just come up here, right to the right. And... Don't... Don't get blown up. It's generally not a good thing to get blown up. But if you make your way to the top of the, uh, of the Graveyard of the Giants, you'll find that there is another way to get in. As long as you've done the right thing with this box over here, there's a staircase that leads, see this number one here, up, and here we are, back in the Gate of Illusion. Hooray! Alright, so now that we've got his treasures, we've got some stuff to do. Uh, we can't do anything there yet. Hmm. Where to now? Ooh, I know. Let's go to the left up here. Alright, let's open this treasure chest. Wait. Ah. Notice this treasure chest doesn't have light coming out of it. It's a little bit suspicious. Let's try an alternative method of opening it. Oh boy, that was a trap. <laughs> Meanwhile, come down here, place this mysteriously suspicious weight, and you find the actual treasure chest with the map in it. <laughs> Clever, right? Okay, now, uh, where do I go? Well, we can head to the left, I guess. This place is a total maze. Like, 100% grade A maze material. Stop it, Bat. I don't need you, Bruce Wayne. I do what I want. This music's pretty catchy, too. In fact, a lot of the music in this game is really catchy. I wish there was some way in game that we could listen to this music. Eh. Probably just a dream. And head back through and whip this pot, and do the Mario, and then stay to the right like a good like a uh, good driver should. And we've got the treasures, so we can go talk to that guy again, and he'll give us our 500 gold reward, right? Ow. I didn't mean to touch those. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh dear, I got his all I got his treasures all sticky. We got an anchor. That's a piece of junk? That's a finely crafted piece of machinery. How dare you call that a piece of junk? Some person worked really hard over some anvil to create this fine craft of heaviness. What the anchor actually does is it lets us go down here. Not much else. We sink in water, basically. Instead of floating. Die skeleton. So now we can continue through this maze of hell. By climbing up here, we've got another pet or another tablet. Ooh. Don't trust your eyes, basically. Hop through there, place a weight, and return back over to the right. Oh no. Oh! Look at that! What does that do? Oh. A mini doll? I am small. Okay, I've got to prove that I'm small. How exactly do we do that? I don't know. We'll do that later. For now, we've got a maze to finish. Oh, come now, stop that. Hmm. What does this do? Oh, that would have been bad. Instead, put a weight on the skeleton. To open that up and allow us to pass through. Oh god, which way do you go? Left or right? Right! There we go. Alright, now what you have to do here is put one weight on here and then hurry, run, and put weights on all the other ones before the first one goes all the way down. That solves the puzzle of the Gate of Illusion. And here we find ourselves back at the start, this dead tree of Eden. Yeah, creepy. Alright, now where to? Let's see. We've 
put all the pedestal things on the switches, etc. But what else is there to do? Well, let's return over here and see if we can find something. Alright. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show this off. If you come over here... Ow. Oh yeah, by the way, that's what putting those pedestals on did. That uh, ladder over there. But now, if you come up here... I forgot to place a weight here. But if I do so, that'll activate this ladder below me. So that's an easy way of getting back up. We're almost done now got a new room, new stuff to do. You can whip some stuff, axe some stuff, find a way to push this block over. Because we can't climb ladders if there's no footrest to base our climb off of. That would be blasphemy. There we go. The illusions will only continue? Ha! Huh, I bet I'm almost done. I know that already. Stop telling me things. Okay, you're starting to bother me. Oh, now it's an upside-down smiling Omic head of creepiness. Look, there's the crawl point. I want to get to it. Sadly, I cannot. I'm determined to get the crawl point without warp warping out of here, even though I only have 36 life. So let's see if I can. Oh, shit. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
I'll see you guys later. Bye.